Hello and welcome to the 64th tutorial in the Bootstrap 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at media objects. We'll be using the source code from the 6th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Media objects allow you to easily display data in the form of well, blogs, tweets, etc. They provide indented and aligned formats. The code is actually pretty simple, so if we just go ahead and open up our HTML file in our text editor, we'll show you how easy it is to do. So if we just go down here, Let's zoom so I can see a little better. Let's do div class equals media. All these classes are built in, so we're not going to be writing any CSS, which is great. So it's good when we have to do less work. And now within this, we're going to put a, a, a href. We're going to put a class, and this is going to be media left. Then I'm going to put a href and it's going to put a hash because you can make it do something if you want to, but again, that's just specific to your website. We're not going to close the anchor tag on the same line because within here, we're going to have an image. It's going to have a source. We'll put the source in a second. And for alt, I was going to put oh, dot dot dot. You can put whatever you want for alt. Um, so actually, I'm going to put media object. No, I'm going to put blog post. Again, we're not really going to be seeing that, so it doesn't really matter for the purpose of this tutorial. And for this image source, we're going to get it off the Bootstrap website. So if we go to Bootstrap, so get bootstrap.com, go to components, uh, media objects, where are they? There we go. See, just at the bottom. And what we essentially want is this, or this here. So if I copy image URL, uh, now if we go back to the image source, ooh, went inside the quotation marks, and this looks a little dodgy, but again, this is the image from the Bootstrap website, you can have what, whatever you want. Just note that the image size works great when it's 64 by 64 pixels. So the last thing we're going to add within here, because we have a anchor tag, and we also have an image tag within the anchor tag, but outside the anchor tag we're going to have another div and this div is going to have a class of media body so I think you can guess this as well if this was a blog this will be the body of the blog and I'm going to put h4 class and this if this was a blog this would be well the heading of that blog post so we're just going to put blog media heading whatever you want. There you go. And then in here I'm just gonna get a random paragraph from Google. I'm about to say Google then. Google. Random paragraph. I think this is the one I like to go on to. Again you can just get whatever you want. We just want something that's quite big. Yeah, I know it sounds quite dodgy but it doesn't really matter what it says. I just can't be asked with typing something out myself. So what we're going to do is here, we're not going to enclose this in any sort of element. And yeah, there's a lot of text there. And we can just ignore the formatting, really. We'll just sort out the formatting slightly. Let go right. Yeah, that did go right. Okay, the last bit of formatting. No, actually, that looks okay. Again, the body, you will put the text you want, how you want it, maybe you want some links or whatnot, and they can put whatever you want. And what we're going to do, the last thing, is just duplicate this three times. And the reason we're going to do this, otherwise, on its own, it's going to look a little bland. By having a few instances of it, you'll be able to see what we're trying to achieve with a media object within Bootstrap. So if we open up index.html, scroll down, we have, well, our media object. So this right here is the media object. Right here. Like, one of these there is the media object. So we've got the title, we've got the text, and we've got, well, our little icon. It's well, that simple. The next tutorial will cover media object horizontal alignment. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. All the required source code will be in the description. To see over 800 completely free videos like this one, visit sonarlearning.co.uk. 
and as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.